Alright, so I did not quite finish my previous run, as you can see, because it went way longer than I thought it was going to be, and then lunch came. What uh, a show off. <laughs> it's a warlock, too. No, I, I played a warlock specifically because I didn't think it was going to get so far. And uh, I mean, I'm sharing the, the deck list right now for those that are that are watching. The deck list is actually in the tab below the screen, so it's actually there. But this will hopefully be over soon, and then we can start our actual run. All right. Um, if you want to spend the, uh, I, I'm going to spend the first few minutes like I did last time, checking the audio, checking to see everything's okay, okay. especially so with my gonna, voice. Okay, so I'm just gonna play that. Right, right. Um, uh, just give me a few minutes to make sure everything's all right. Okay. Um, so if you want to see the deck, uh, deck list is below, and it is here. As you can see, it's not a particularly great deck. It's good in that it has no real weak spots, but it's, you know, the overall value is not terribly high. I have very few removals. Uh, I really, did, like, the games that I've won so far were, like, I'm at three health or five health for, like, five turns after I stabilize. So, uh, it's, it hasn't been very convincing victories, but... Well, we'll finish this up and then start the real run. <clears throat> and hopefully the real run will actually be a paladin, uh, you know, that will be offered it. Or else I'll have to, like, just retire a random deck and lose 150 gold. That would make me sad. Question, why do you have seven packs unopened? <laughs> uh, I think that's the amount of, of games that I played since the last stream, actually. You I just think that's the open. number of runs. I've had a really bad weekend in terms of uh, Hearthstone runs. Okay, like, if you so look at the you... record, it's like four, four, six, seven, and I had a I had one zero three Paladin run. All right. Is, so is this going yeah. to be a thing now? Like you just open up the packs on stream, you just never open them up any other time. It'd be good for oh. viewers. Okay, I could do that. Yeah, I, I think I have enough uh, cards that I don't really need packs um, normally, so I can do that. Um, and we're not going to explain as much on this one, just because it's... Yep. I'm not even gonna, going to state potential. I, I don't know this deck at all, so... Yeah. Uh, well, there's nothing really much to know besides that it has a bunch of minions that are of mediocre value. So, what do you think was the key to this thing getting Ungoven win so far? Luck. Pure luck. Ah, that's good. Sometimes that's it. And we tap. Like, this is not even an uncommon start. This is not a... I think I have, like, five two-drops. Uh, the, the blood uh, the blood imps have been doing a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and see, luck, right? He could have just destroyed me if he played a two-drop. That luck. That luck. There's uh, there's no accounting. There, there's no way to... Eh. I don't want to put flesh-eating out to nothing. Yeah, no, no. Um, you definitely get that MC tech out there. Um... Uh, so uh, this is also not, most people play Warlock, I think, in a very aggro way. Like, they'll take a lot of two drops, and uh, and they'll have a very low curve, and they'll pretend they're Zoo, but they're not, and they have crappy cards in the middle because, you know, they're not Zoo. And then it all ends up, like, not working terribly well. Um, yeah. Which is, eh, do I say uh, Life Juggler? I, I play the Drake. This is you play the good. Drake, right? I play the yeah. Drake, but this is not good. Right, well, you do what you got to I play the trade because I have no 5-drop. Yeah. Um, but this deck, and how I mostly play Warlock now, I went through a period where that's how I played too, but the results were too inconsistent. Uh, maybe a little better now with the Spider, who knows. But uh, So the way I play now is normally very, like, control, and uh, this time there were no control cards. Hmm. That was a weird move on his part. By the way, that was a sickeningly good Blood Imp boosting that MC Tech twice. Yep. Um, yeah. But that was, uh, okay. Let's super extend it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. no, no. Crap. I need the Flesh Eating Gold to actually be boosted. Right. Nah. Wait, why did you not trade first? Oh, yeah. No, no, I had to drop it so that when I did trade this, this one gets two. So it becomes a 4-3. Uh, 
Oh. And it's uh, just, you know, like, I had two-thirds of a chance of it doing anything. It didn't. That's fine. Like, I need that to be a 4-3. Like, yeah, he's most likely going to kill the Night Juggler, but I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want this guy to be a 2-3 to be killed. Hmm. Alright, let's try to end the game right here. Yeah, see? That's what I was afraid of. Oh, uh, I could just demon fire. That makes my life easier. Uh, well, wait. You, you demon fire first, right? Because you want to kill yeah. off the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I have a pit lord. I could just demon fire the pit lord if I don't do this. Yeah, but you. Fine, fine. There's a swipe. There's a swipe. If there's a swipe, there's a swipe. Come on, big money. Yeah. Nice. So I usually is not like this. I'm usually behind on the board at the beginning because I can't do anything. And then I do like, I have like a defender of Argus. I have two Frost Elementals. I have two Stormwind Champions. Oh no, I have one Stormwind Champion and one Faceless Manipulator, which I think I've yeah. always used on my Stormwind Champion. Stormwind Champion is just so great when you have a board. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's I way too I good. I just won the game. I don't know what he's going to do. Swipe doesn't help him out that much. Yeah. Nothing helps him out that yeah, much. He should have done that charge. with his other guy. He should have. Why he didn't do that? Um. Uh, well, you could just storm wind and then trade your. Yeah, I'm gonna trade my and... blood imp. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't need a blood imp anymore. I don't know what it's doing. No, you don't. Me. He's uh, he's not quite like I wouldn't have done that by the way if he was about to get to eight mana, but he's not. So. I'm yeah, fine. exactly. Uh, oh. Whatever. Don't care that much. I will trade both my guys in. I don't think there's yeah. anything I can do. Um, yeah, and then just get stuff out there. I could get stuff um, out there. I'm going to tap. Tap once? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's oh. why you tap. Well played. Yes. There we go. And that is 12 wins for this Warlock. Before you think I am really good, this is the second time I have ever gotten a Warlock to 12 wins. So. Huh. Um, we're getting a comment from the chat. Uh, Zima is saying that Twitch is lagging a lot for him, actually. Um, he is getting about three minute lag every three minutes and three seconds, um, but it's just hap It's just with Twitch in general. That's really weird. Um, sorry to hear that, Zima. Uh, wait, Not are you getting the lag? Because aren't you watching the stream? Yeah, I'm watching the stream. It's actually fine on my end. Huh. Um, very weird. Um, well, I don't know what we can do about that. Uh, hopefully, it gets better. Oh, I got two gold cards. I'm just like mechanically entering and stuff on uh, Arena Mastery. Uh, yeah. Two gold cards. Oh, that's very nice. Um, oh, for those of you joining in, uh, you didn't really miss anything. We started off this stream. Um, <laughs> no, we a, drafted a warlock and went 12-1. In the span of seven minutes. Yes, in yes. the span of seven minutes. That's that's how good we are. This is this is what you're really learning from this stream: how to play well and play super fast. Um. Okay, I'm gonna. Right. Uh, you talk. I'm gonna update uh, the stuff with the the new, with the new run, like all the information or whatever. Okay, sure. Let's see what we get here. No paladin. Um, we should are, just. Are, are, are you, play. Do we want to re-roll as paladin, or let's just do shaman? I don't care. I don't care what we do. Let's just do shaman. Okay. I think let's we just told do everyone we're gonna do paladin, but it, it didn't come up. I got greedy. Last night I was playing and I did two paladin runs. 
And I was debating whether <laughs> to just like not play until this today, but I didn't feel like holding off. Um, and I was right. promptly punished by going 0-3 for the first time since launch in any right. arena. Well, okay. So, um, Hunter, we did last time, and uh, we did really well. And uh, at the end of the video, Adwix actually explains why he thinks Hunter is a lot better in arena now. Um, Priest uh, is really, really good and constructed now, if you guys see Trump and Amaz. Um, it's just a very combo-heavy deck. Uh, in Arena, we're kind of still waiting for the Dark Cultist, just because that's just sickeningly good value out of a 3-drop. Um, Shaman's interesting because it is Advocta's worst class in Arena, by far. Um, actually, no, you... It's, there is. I think it's better now because of that uh, that one run that we did with a rag and a, and an uh, okay. what than I did. I think you'd help draft that, but yeah, yeah, we had a few differences. Um, Shaman happens to be my best class, um, and we have been trying to figure out why. Um, <laughs> but I think if we okay. do this draft, we'll uh, we'll see some of the differences in um, Adwoktas play and my play, and we can kind of. Dissect the class. Huh. I'm unable to update the title of this broadcast. Oh no, I did. Does it say Shaman now? I can refresh one second. Okay. Let's see if it says Shaman. Nope. It does not say Shaman? It says Shaman. Nope. Does it? It's not saying. It. Well, there's a slight delay, so let's let's wait a little bit. But, alright, would you do you want to go Shaman? Yeah, we're we're going shaman. I, I just okay. don't want to play priest until after the uh, after the dark cultist comes out. Yeah, so okay. sure. Okay. All uh, right. And uh, and we just did hunter, so we're not doing okay. another hunter one. All yeah, right. that's fair. So let's go with thrall. All right, let's go with thrall. My nemesis. Um. Actually, hold on. Just out of for my own curiosity, is this my worst class? Especially after that Warlock run, it might be. It, it was Warlock, but now it might oh, be. Oh, now, now it is. Shaman's like a, a .25 below Warlock now. Jeez, that's horrible. Yeah. Well, my Warlock used to hang around 6.5. I just went on like this bad streak. You know? uh, so also, one of the things that I am a firm believer of, at least with the way I play, is that weekends are bad. You just... You know, my records on weekends are so much worse than my records on weekdays. And I rarely play after I've been drinking. So... And I'm probably more tired on weekdays from work, so I don't know why. Um, I, I have my theories, but suffice to say, I think one of the reasons why certain performances are the way they are is uh, can be attributed to the weekend. It just stalls out yeah. a lot at like six wins or like seven wins or five wins. All right, so uh, first pick here. Uh, it's going to be Manatai Totem. The other two are just pretty bad. Yep. Oh yeah, and for the viewers, just like let us know if like there's something like an audio issue or something. Like Murph's checked in the beginning, and we think it's fine, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let us know if there are any yeah. issues. Um, unfortunately, we can't do too much about Twitch in general. But um, if there's something with the stream that uh, you want us to fix, we can yeah. do that. Um, Spiteful Smith, right here. Hey, it's reincarnate, uh, the card I have never been forced to take yet. And <laughs> I hope to never be forced to take. Um, it's a combo card that really has no place in the arena. I'm going with the Wolf Rider. Yeah, I would go with the Wolf Rider too. Uh, so I go with the Wolf Rider over the Guru Bashi because I already have a 5 drop. Um, if you. Oh no, uh, I guess this isn't the thing. But so, in our first video, we talked about this, but the first video no longer exists. So I have a thing against five drops and things above five drops where uh, because you can't use your hero power and play two of them or even like a five and a four drop after you start maxing out your uh, all ten of your mana crystals. So having a lot of five drops, it commits you to a very particular type of play. And so in the beginning of drafts, I prefer not to have too many like five or six or seven drops, especially when they're of average value. Like I'll still take the premium ones, but whenever there's a choice, I always go lower curve. I think we can just settle on Guru Bashi not being that good. <laughs> Actually, I've um, got a decent value out of Guru Bashi lately. It's, it's okay. Um, all right, we're going with the Senjin here. Uh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, you should always start talking first because uh, I'm always typing this stuff into a uh, Arena Mastery. Okay, um, so here we have Wind Fury, uh, Dark Scale Healer, and Ancestral Healing. Um, uh, Wind Fury is not that bad, but over here I would pick a Dark Scale Healer. Yeah. Um, you can usually get some value out of it. It's just significantly better. Yeah. Wind Fury. Wind Fury is a great reach card, though. You can just sometimes end games, like mid game, when you Wind Fury your first fire elemental. Yeah, and ancestral healing—it's just not good. <laughs> not I keep good enough. Like posts on the forums, it's like let's use like all of these like fancy shaman cards, and then I'll make a comment that's like, wow, you know, for constructed, sure, uh, you have crusher shamans and things like that, but not for uh, not for arena. Shattered sun. Shattered sun was good. We have a two-drop issue. Murps does not seem to think the the that the shaman needs two drops, so I've actually. Not that you don't need two drops. Um, I think one of the one of the differences in play between me and Adwokta and maybe his issue with Shaman is um, <laughs> <laughs> My issue with Shaman. Um, I, I don't think you realize how strong the totems are, or just how annoying they yeah, are. And like, right. you, you I definitely undervalue them. Yeah. Um, he, I I pick a Wind Fury here. Anyway, here you pick a Wind Fury. Yeah. The Dust Devil's a dead card. Totemic Might. Um, one, one of the runs that we did that went 12 runs actually used a Totemic Might really well. And Murps hated me for drafting it. But it was good because we already had a cash in. <laughs> yeah. Without it was that, basically... it was just, you don't take that card. Right. But yeah, with a cash sand, it's literally like you just hold it and then it most likely cycles itself and gives whatever totems you have out there, including Flame Tongue and Manatide, like a, a ridiculous amount of life. Uh, Lightning it, Bolt, that's pretty Lightning obvious. Bolt. Dark Iron, that's pretty obvious. A lot of easy choices so far. Nothing really difficult. Oh, and um, let's see, what is... Oh. We have no two drops. Yeah, uh, we're going with the Wild Pyro. Okay, good. Yeah, going uh, with the Wild Pyro. They're actually all uh, in the same tier for anti-gravity. Yeah, Interesting. Um, Ab Abomination I really don't like for a shaman just because you end up killing off all of your totems. Yeah. Like typically I would like an Emperor Cobra significantly more than a Wild Pyro actually. Uh, but but here we have no two drops yet. It's our tenth pick. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'm glad you don't hate two drops that much. Yeah, well. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. So I really like Mobushan, but I like it because I typically draft tempo style. Like decks, if we're playing Paladin. That'd be a great card. Uh, yeah, I would just take the Booty Bay here. Um, it's not great, but I like it better. Could take a South Sea and just like wait for X. No, that's not gonna be. No, enough. that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> no, that's not gonna be enough. <sighs> Mogushan, no... when you can either ping or when you have a lot of like you know two and three drops, are really, is really good. But we'll take a Booty Bay. Yeah. I'm going to be sad. It just gets removed so easily by everything. I know. Um, Obvious choice. Uh, we're not that desperate for twos. That we're, we're not that take desperate. A yeah. over a tiger. So now we're nope. overloaded on fives. This is why we don't take fives when we don't have to. Another lightning bolt is fantastic. Um, Okay, here's a choice. Um, I am a huge fan of Lava Burst because the Shaman typically doesn't have ways to do what Lava Burst does. That being said, I think Defender of Argus is uh, is just is higher value if you. Can it's get higher two value. On yeah. the board. And this is kind of why you, you know, your totems gain value and. Um, Having a defender of Argus to to just activate your totems, or just it, you're going to have a higher chance of having two things on the board than basically any other class. Um, your totems have a higher chance of surviving than the one ones that the paladins pump out. And um, yeah, I think we go defender of Argus here. <laughs> you ultimately do have control of the mouse. I can't. I basically <laughs> it's just the guy uh... over. Over here. Ah, uh, fine. It's a 
14th pick. We don't have any hexes yet, which is why Lava Burst, I think, has a lot of value. But it overloads you. Fine, I'm going to go with the Defender of Argus. But if this was if, if this was the shape of the deck, which is to say on the slower side, uh, like we have a lot of small removals, so we're just going to be playing control in the early game, and then we're going to just drop big stuff after big stuff after big stuff, and hopefully there's some fire elementals to back that up later. In that kind of style, I really much prefer having more removal than than a Defender of Argus. But it's still it's still before the, the mid-draft, so maybe the deck will get more aggro. Just pick the Defender. One second. What? I think so. So Harvest Golem, Dark Scale, Healing the Lightning Bolt. Harvest Golem has much higher value than all the other cards. And uh, so the thing with Lightning Bolt is that everyone thinks it's uh, amazing, but even like if you look at Trump's list, for example, the Lightning Bolt is actually not all that highly rated because I think he's and he's I think he's making the correct valuation, which is that this is ultimately two mana. Yeah, you're borrowing mana from uh, the turn after. But that's just as likely to hurt you as it is to help you. Because sometimes you need to like drop a 4 drop on your next turn, or drop a 5 drop on your next turn, and you won't be able to Lightning Bolt. And you will be totally okay spending the 2 mana now. So, All right. normally in terms of value, when they make the cards, they seem to think that overloading things to the turn later is a better thing. And, and it generally is, but there's also a significant downside when your deck isn't like very well constructed. And arena decks are generally not very well constructed. So we're picking I, the golem. We're, right? we're definitely picking the golem. I'm just explaining okay, why, uh, and I already have two of them. But yeah, yeah. So pick I think in golem. general, the lightning bolt, uh, I always pick it a little lower, like compared to the other premium cards. Um, yeah. Um, we have a request for to move the arena coop sign because it's kind of blocking the leftmost card a little bit, but. You can still really? see the leftmost card. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's blocking it like a tiny bit. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, hmm. I think I could do this. Can I do this on the fly? Hold on. Maybe I can't do this on the fly. I don't know. <laughs> quite how the, okay, I don't think I could do this on the fly. We'll we'll All fix right. it next time. We'll remember for next time. Yeah, we'll Thanks. remember for next time. But you're right. Uh, it's covering the face of the ancient fruit master. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Worgen Infiltrator and Ancient Brewmaster have the same value, but Worgen Infiltrator is essentially a small removal. We have two Lightning Bolts, we have a Wild Pyro that can combo with stuff, we have a Wolf Rider. I think we're good on that. Yeah, yeah. I like the Panda. It's good. Man, they really like the oh, another Lightning easy bolts. choice. I'm just happy I'm seeing any kind of fire elementals. The last time I played a shaman, I got like four fire elementals, and the deck only won like four wins. So, usually when you get a lot of one card, the next time you play a class, you uh, you don't get it a lot. That's just my superstition. <laughs> um, flame tongue totem here. Flame tongue totem. Uh, I think Mervs and I both are not big fans of bloodlust, just because. <laughs> It's pretty much, there's three cards that favor aggro style uh, when it comes to the Shaman. It's a uh, Rock Fighter Weapon, uh, Bloodlust, and uh, the, the Axe. And that's it. So it's kind of hard to build an aggro-ish kind of deck with Shaman. Yeah, yeah. By the way, two drops where we're like in heavy danger of just dying a lot because we don't have two drops. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the Lightning Storm here. Going to take agree? the Lightning Storm. I usually take the Azure Drake over pretty much anything, but a Lightning Storm is... A, if we had, like, two Fork Lightnings, I may even skip the Lightning Storm, but it's just but it's too good, especially because we're playing Control. and It's too good, yeah. yeah. We're playing Control. All right. Okay, once again, no Bloodlust. Uh, so Unstable Ghoul is a 2-drop. We have a lot of 5-drops. What do we think about taking a crappy 2-drop over a pretty good 5-drop? I'm not taking the ghoul. Why not? It's just... Um, we talked about it before. Um, not on the stream, but just... Uh, we've talked about this before. It's just very awkward when um, when you play it 
any time after so the early game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it is, uh, it is a taunt, right? We have Manatai Totem we may want to protect. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at how the deck goes. Two Lightning Bolts, small removals, one mass removal that we can't quite rely on to be in our hand. Uh, we don't even have that many three drops. We're very solid from three on out. Uh, from third forward. So we need to have a lot of small stuff and then maybe like one or two like anchoring big things. Starting on around turn four or five, this deck is going to be playing something and tapping, playing something and tapping, or like playing something and lightning bolting. But it probably won't play something and drop another little thing. So we're going to have a lot of totems and that's going to be good to taunt damage while we survive. Yeah, um, uh, Bloodlust isn't that bad of a card, but here I no 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 I, 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 I wouldn't go with Bloodlust here. Right, right. Um, I'd still pick the Tiger. Um, we have one two drop. It's the twenty first pick. We have one two drop. Are we just like really I, happy with tapping on turn two? Yes. Uh, we have no access. Keep that in mind. I know. I understand. Uh, I would still pick the Tiger here. We're gonna be so dead. We need that Defender of Argus to come out. Yeah, we do. That's not a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Rely on one or a Lightning Storm. But neither of those are good plans. Uh, you do that, you do that, everything gets rough by one. Fine. Fine. Okay. Manatai Totem drawing cards is going to do us any good if we're dead anyway. Yeah. Okay, now we take the Earthshock because we have way too many fives. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with one Earthshock here. Way um, too many fives. Normally I take the Tiger, but we're overloaded on that. Loot Hoarder. Loot Hoarder. That is a two Definitely. drop. That is a two drop. Frostwolf Grunt. That is a two drop. <laughs> we're taking Lightning Bolt. Yeah, which is also a two drop. The only reason we're taking the Lightning Bolt over the Frostwolf Grunt, by the way. I, I think it's not a bad card at all, Frostwolf Grunt. Um, but... Uh, we have so many random overloads. We're taking Lightning Bolt. So many overloads. <laughs> it's just... It... This is what happens every time I play Shaman with Adukta. It's just a lot oh, of... Oh, good. Fire Elementals. A lot of frustration on his part. Okay, we're taking the Fire Elemental, not the Bluegill Warrior. Even I would do yeah. that. That valley difference yeah. is too big. Yeah. Hey, oh, look at that fairy dragon. dragon. Good, good, good. It's they're not, they're turning not trying out to okay. totally screw us over. Right. Okay, at least we need at least one more two for me to be happy. Because without four, just nothing happens in the early game. Web Lord. Huh. We have Shattered Sun, that battle prize. Ancient. We have a lot of battle prize. Half our stuff we have quite, yeah, we have quite a few battle cries. Um, uh, I'm going to take the Dolar Mage. Because we have a ton of Lightning Bolt. We have an Earth Shock. We have a, what do you call that, Lightning Storm? Yeah, I'm okay with that, just to get an extra spell damage in. Um, like a more Nerva expensive Kobold. It's a more expensive Kobold. That's the way you treat it. And that's unfortunate, but it's what we're going with. Um, the Web Lord is just not going to help us that much, unfortunately. It's going to hurt us more than help. The problem with the Web Lord, and this is why it sucks compared to the, uh, compared to the mana rate, uh, when you have uh, stuff with Battle Cries, is that you can't kill it. Usually when you play it, it, it trades positively, but you can't kill it on your turn and they don't bother it. And they don't have any reason to bother it because it only deals one damage. So yeah. if they don't have battle cry stuff and they don't care about it, they'll keep it alive and it'll just end up hurting you. All right. Well, we have another two. Good. Good, good, good. And we still have um, one more chance to get an axe. Nope. <laughs> That's a no. Uh... Okay. Now, now I'm a little hesitant about this fire elemental. Nope, you don't hesitate. You pick it. It's four, and we could get a rockbiter weapon, which will help us do early game removal. 
we have three lightning bolts and an earth shock. I think we're okay with that. We only have two actual three drops. We're still going to be tapping. Yeah, and tapping's fine. Oh, God. We're going to be tapping <laughs> so much. Fire elemental. Do it. Uh, uh, fine. Oh, so good. Okay. This control deck is going to work out after all. Oh, like pure my God. luck that we have two lightning storms. So good. All right. Let's do it. I don't know if I ever played a deck that was so control for the Shaman, because how often do you get to draft two Lightning Storms? Uh, <laughs> I've done it once before, that was it. I mean, so this looks like a pretty good control deck, and I think based on how far we're going to get with this, which is probably like... I don't think this is going more than seven wins. Just based on my experience on control, like you'll 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 see how how control is uh is problematic. Uh, that being said, we we didn't really have a choice. Um, You're always so negative about these. Well, I mean, okay, this obviously isn't as bad as that rogue deck we drafted, where it was clear that we would be lucky to get five wins. Yeah. Um, thankfully, not all of our arena runs have been streamed because we have just had some really, really bad yeah, ones. Right. I streamed last night and I told Ed, uh, I was like, oh, so I just got 0-3 on Paladin. And he's like, did you stream it? That would be awesome. I'm like, nope. It's a good thing I didn't stream that one. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It was not a bad deck either. I just got like overrun. Let's keep the Golem. We keep the Golem and... because we are not guaranteed any two drops. Yeah. And we uh, have only like two or three three drops, I forget, but... We have no right. three drops either. We're just keeping the golem. That's, <sighs> that looks pretty good. We're facing a priest. I face so many priests. Oh in, my god! Uh, in the past, like couple of oh, that's good. Wow. Uh, I faced so many priests in the past couple of uh, past couple of days. Like I think priests were maybe a quarter of, the, uh, of my matchups. Jeez, this is uh, this is a sickeningly good um, uh -huh. good start. Yeah. The good thing about having a lot of big things is that when you do get a good start, you, you win because you have big cards to back it up at the end. Well, thanks for jinxing it. Oh, come on. It, it's even a fairy dragon. You know? I know. It's even a fairy it's dragon. It's even a fairy it's dragon. Just... Like, come on. And no. The fairy dragon is really good against priests because they don't have weapons or anything like that, so they actually like can't remove the fairy dragon without one card, which is the bluegill warrior. And that means we get it, control in the beginning, and then we have a lightning bolt to back up for whenever we lose control. Unless he drops like a worgen infiltrator or something. Oh, that's true. Okay, two cards. <laughs> nope. Oh, wow, look at this curve. That is a thing of beauty right there. Okay. Do I just lightning bolt it? Because if I pyro, I have to hit it. Because otherwise, it's it's a freak. So you have to just remove everything on the board. No, that's fine. No, I, that's I'll, fine. I'll trade. Well. No, you could go to his face. What? What can no, you no, do no, here? No, 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 The priest can can do the oh the power word shield. The power word yeah. shield. You never you can't do that with, with the power word shield. Yeah. Yes, I know. No. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and it could also you know, sh uh, shatter sun cleric or whatever. You always have to clear the priest uh, and when you take this stuff into account. Yeah, I think that was the, the first time that you wanted to go to the face and I wanted to trade. You know, for some reason I forgot about power word shield. You know, one of the premier priest cards. It's it's not really my day. Um, Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. Um, okay, so let's just... So that was really good for us because it means we don't have to trade. And, uh, yeah. you know, we didn't get a card out of it or anything, but we have extremely high tempo now compared to our position before this. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... And it almost guarantees that Dark Iron's going to get something next turn. Yep.
Okay. What just happened? I guess he's setting up for the Nova. Um, he wants, which is fine. He wants the Nova. I'm uh, gonna just play a mana tie totem then. No, I would still get the. No, uh, because if he Nova's, no. I don't care. Yeah. I'll Dark Iron the next turn. Yeah, that's true. You could even Dark Iron the mana tide. Yeah, uh, and then we kill if, off. If he Nova's, he can't do anything. Yeah. Right? And if he doesn't Nova, I still have a Dark Iron and a Lightning Bolt the next turn. Yeah, yeah. That no, that's my true. Fire um, from coming out. Well, let's. Um, and then we kill it with the Golem, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. All right. He needs to kill that thing. He does. Come on, bring the shadow word out. I'm up a card. Oh, he's so he's gonna be so sad. So sad. He's gonna be so very sad. Ah, I was thinking about doing something with lightning bolt, but I can't because you can't. Nope. Uh, so I trade both my things into that. Trade both your things, yep. Extreme amounts of card advantage. Uh, Dollar and Mage, Lightning Storm combo. Dollar and Mage, uh, Lightning Bolt combos. I did an Overload, so I could Fire Elemental. Right, we don't have a single Hex. <laughs> Double lightning bolt time. Right. Uh, let me see. If you fire on this, so you do three. You could trade. You could trade in your dark no, iron I as well. But iron. yeah, that's true. I think it's double lightning bolt time. Let's do double lightning bolt. I hope he does have the mind control time. So this, the lightning bolt will be four, four again. Yep, let's double lightning bolt. Okay, yep. And then we can keep on drawing cards. He hasn't shown a way to get rid of the... Um... I'm so sad that I can't also totem. I know. Okay. Ugh, so many fire elementals that I can't use. I know. Um, I'm a lightning storm and then earth shock if necessary. Nah. No. gonna heal it up though. That's the problem with this. I know. Um I think like, I'm not gonna trade everything in. I'm gonna lightning storm. Well okay are are you going to tap first? Like I no. I would totem. No why I would totem as well. I need to earth shock in case it doesn't kill it. Hmm. If I told him I can't earth shock yeah, that's true. You need like, to. I'll do this first, the... and then I'll, you know, earth shock if I need to. Okay. That, no, that's fair. That's fair. See, now I have to earth shock. So yeah, the importance of that is to keep the four four alive, um, and. As all of you guys know, four attack minions versus priests are just really, oh, yeah. really good. Because well, as soon as the fire elemental comes, it's going to die, and he's going to only spend three mana, and he has like five more mana to do something else. Yeah. Well. <sighs> so much for that. Um, could trade everything in, or... I think we might as well just fire elemental at this point. Yeah. That thing's not gonna die. No. Yeah, 
Yeah, because he's still going to have to heal it. It's 5, he heals it to 7, he attacks, and then I just finish it off with anything. Yeah, I still do this. I mean, most likely he's just going to kill the Manatide. Because that's drawn us like 50 cards already. It's allowed us to play extremely inefficiently on our yeah. turns, um, which is fine. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do all that much. Nope. We have... Assume he doesn't kill the dollar in May, which would be weird. Heal it, heal it, heal the, heal the, uh, the giant. Hmm. He does not heal the giant. Well. All right. Hmm. I mean, if there's any time to lightning storm, it would be now. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then fire elemental to finish it. Yep. Let's do it. Or oh, hold on, no. Six, five, ah, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I, think, I think we should still win Fury, though. I don't think it's no, necessary. No, right Win Fury now. wins the game. Wait, does it? Hold on. If you win for this guy, he deals 8 damage. That's 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. And charge. Can I do all that? I can do all that, right? Yeah, I can do exactly all that. Okay. That wins the game. Alright. Oh, I did this wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to lightning bolt first. Oh, well. He has to heal a lot for me. Not this is the uh, high level play that you yes. see on this stream. Yes. I needed to fire elemental. I needed to, to uh, lightning bolt before that entire play happened. Because the dollar a mage was, was what I was sacrificing to make it happen. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Fine. Make me pay for my mistakes. I still win. I figured out lethal too. Like I figured out how to do lethal. I just executed it really shittily. Yep. All right. Well, okay. So hopefully that's how this deck works in the future as well. Which is to say, just start with all of our two drops in our hand, take the board, and never let it go. It's nice when you start off with coin, two two drops, one of them being a fairy dragon, and then you can follow that up with uh, golem and dark iron. It's pretty good. By the way, I'm getting, um, the screen sharing that you have with me, uh, it's lagging horrendously, so. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's very strange. Um, so we keep the lightning bolt, we keep the fairy dragon, I would toss back everything else. I mean, that's right. Yeah. These are not bad starts at all? These are not bad at all. Yeah. By the way, I like how last game we didn't tap a single time. That's how I like uh, to play. Right. I mean, that's um, that just shows a really, really nice curve. That's what happened with that uh, that twelve win warlock run that we just finished too. Like uh, for half the games, I never tapped because people started out really aggro, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna die." Uh, yep. And for the other half, I tapped a lot. Yeah. 
Warlock's one of those things. It's always you're always living on the edge of death, which means high variation, which is not what you actually want to be doing. I uh, don't do anything. You don't do anything. Because then you only play as Lightning Bolt the next turn, but then or, it or prevents tap. you from doing. Or, or you are all the proponent of tapping. Well, I'm saying that we can't do anything for two turns, basically, um, unless you just tap and then you know. So coin out the harvest golem. Yes. Most definitely. So we did that instead of playing the Fairy Dragon because it has a good matchup and we have three drops to follow it up or a two drop and a Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Hmm. The Shatter Sun's still not going to be good, but it's all we got. Right? Yeah. yeah. There's not much more we have. I would just let him clear the board then. That's fine. I'm okay with him clearing the board, right? I don't yeah. need damage now. I'm playing control. You're playing control. Uh, it's a druid. I'm playing control and I know iron brights are coming. That's not a good game plan. Uh... But my problem is if I attack, he gets more 1-1s one that are super annoying. I know. Um, do you just attack his imp master? Yeah. Yeah, well, if I attack, it would be the imp master. Right, right, right. No, I, I think you do this. I think you do this. The end master was a good move on his part. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just you know sometimes you have the cards that makes the perfect answers. Yeah. And sometimes your opponent does, and you go o three with a paladin despite a perfectly decent deck. Oh good. Okay, this is good. This is fine this is, so far. This is good for the lightning bolts. Very nice. Very happy with this. But Wolf Rider on Lightning Bolt? No. no Wolf Rider no. has to be used as a removal. Wolf Rider is a removal. It's a 3 for 3. Put out your thing so I can trade two cards into it. <laughs> Come on, Druid of the Claw. Or be annoying. He's going to be super annoying with this. This is the most annoying possible thing you could have put out. Ooh. I just tap. I, just I think tap. you just tap here. You can't lightning bolt because... Yeah, I definitely can't lightning yeah. bolt because it'll overload me for the fire elemental play. I know, and you want the fire elements will coming out. So do I Wolf Rider or not? I have no good targets of Wolf Rider. Uh, I think I tap. I th I think we just tap here. It's a really bad turn, but I think that's all we do. Let's see what we get. Perfect. Yes, nice. we do it. Yes, we do it. We kill the four four. And then we yeah. can Dark Scale Healer the next turn. Yeah, exactly. So bad. It's... Shaman is so bad. <laughs> this is just, look at this. This is awful. You can't even do anything about it. Look how much we're healing. So much healing. We could have Wolf Rider to set it up, but and like no. tapped again. It'd be a little we, obvious. You know, it'd be a little obvious, feels like that, and or just <laughs> like that, yeah. He needs to use his hero power because he needs to kill my four five. Yep, make the trade. Make the trade. Yes, good buff. Great buff. Hmm. 
please just attack me to the face so I can get some value out of this Wind Fury. Yeah. Yes! Now attack me to the face. Or, yeah, do that. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, oh, oh, choices. No, this doesn't actually do anything. No, no, that doesn't actually. Wind Fury to kill off, like, hold on, hold on. his two... I do this. Two. I Wolf Rider. I... Uh, no, no, no. It's, no, I, I no. do the Wind Fury thing. You do the it's Wind too Fury. Good. It's too good. It's too good. You get to kill off uh, his two fatties. And then I'll fire Elemental the 2-1. Yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. See, and we still don't have card advantage. How many Druid of the Claws does this guy have? Jeez. He's a druid. He has as many as it takes. Yeah, I guess so. Come on. One more fire elemental. Let me draw a fire elemental. <laughs> That's all I want. That's not a fire elemental. Okay. Well, I can still make the trade. He can't do anything if I send it up. Maybe. Well, we assume he can't do anything if I send it up. Right. And then um, I put out a tiger and I tap it. You put out a tiger. I mean, I don't tap. I you don't tap. tap. You just put out the tiger. Right. Every time that happens, I think it's drawing a card. It's scary as hell. I guess he doesn't have a swipe. It's kind of an obvious swipe. Put out an iron bark. No. Oh. Now he has card advantage. Yep. Do nothing. Don't put anything out. Do nothing. Do nothing. And then next turn, put everything out at once because I don't have a lightning storm. <laughs> That's not nothing. This could be the worst use of a lightning storm. I have to. Right. Um, I just use a lightning storm to kill the three one basically to get my tiger alive. Or do you Wolf Rider to keep it alive? Yeah, I think Wolf Riders are more valuable than Lightning Storms. Actually, probably not. No, probably not. Ugh, they're both not that high value. Fine, I'll Wolf Rider. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Just I, have two, I have two Lightning Storms, though. So? I, I think they're still better than a Wolf Rider. I don't love the fact that you have two lightning storms in your hand, but... Drop everything so I could double lightning storm to win the game. Drop more stuff. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this guy has so Do many. not use your hero power. Uh, I guess he has to use zero power. That would make no sense if he doesn't he has use to. zero power. Yep. Ugh. <sighs> Looking good. This lightning storm tap. Well, um, well, you you tap first. Well, yeah, before the lightning storm. Yeah. Or if I don't attack. Haha. <laughs> Boot hoarder is definitely coming out. And then maybe I don't attack. 
Maybe I just lightning storm once. And then it heals it to five. He's going to have to use his face if he wants to trade. Or he'll use both his guys to trade my tiger. Right, and then it sets up for the next lightning storm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because otherwise he's going to kill this guy. It keeps this guy right. alive. Yeah. No, I'm fine with just one lightning storm this turn. Or I could just not even lightning storm. Make him totally misplay and lightning storm twice the next turn. Uh, no, no. I think you Why? should do it just because because of the shield. Why? It's a one. It's one damage. What's the shield gonna do to me? Think he's gonna like buff it? No, I see what you mean. Okay. Never mind. That shield did something. <laughs> that shield did something. Oh, yes. Yes, do that. Well, yes. Please let us roll a spell totem. Spell totem, please. One time. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm gonna tap. Tap. Spell totem. Let's go. Yeah. We're still Ugh. doing it. We're still doing it. One more for posterity. Damn it! Ah, this sucks. Oh. Well, flame tongue. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know how I'm going to take care of the giant otherwise, though. And he wins the game if he can somehow find a removal for the stone claw. Like next turn, it's not like I'm gonna get something that can kill fire elementals. Fine. Do you win? Yeah, you pretty much win. Fire Elemental. Nope. That's game. Totem. Alright. That's game. That's game. Mm, there's nothing I can do about pulling back. Yeah, that's game. I have removed the Sea Giant. I think the correct choice was to remove the Sea Giant. Like it would give me more. It would give me more time to like set up stuff while he attacked me. You know. I think that was a misplay. Yeah, I no, think I we should have removed the, the sea giant. We're counting on the the fire elemental, which I mean, we still have two more, but still. Yeah. Come on! I wanted to do a trade. What's up with that? Switching roles today. Whoa, whoa, you didn't keep the uh, lightning bolt? I didn't keep the lightning bolt. And why not? I don't like lightning bolts. That is not a valid reason. It's a perfect reason. Uh, li lightning bolts are really bad when you don't have the coin. They really are. I like, would disagree with that. Like uh, I just think cards. That... Uh, wow. I can't believe that stopped us dead in our tracks. Never mind. A lightning bolt would be good. Yeah, loot hoarder. This is why Shaman's bad. If I could ping, it'd be perfect. 
If only you could ping. Thankfully, we have a golem. Thankfully. I wouldn't fear that golem next time. Or a lightning storm. Okay, so I could wild pyro, then wind fury the wild pyro, which would kill everything. Yeah. Or I could just lightning storm and that would kill everything. I think lightning storm is better. Just one lightning power. storm overloads two, next turn we have three mana to... Pyromancer. Flame Tom, whatever. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hope All right, let's best. hope for three. Hope for the best. <sighs> I freaking hate Shaman. That variance. Sure, why not? So tempted to just tap. <laughs> um. Let's see, it brings it down to five. Yeah, I guess get out the. Ugh. Bringing out the five doesn't do anything. You could That's flame fine. tongue no, 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 smash it. Oh, well, no, no, no. Flame Tongue Smashing well, isn't going to do anything. Oh, well, no, it sets up for the Fire, fire Elemental the next turn. It's too obvious. Yeah. It's too obvious. Well, Pyromancer uh, does essentially the same thing. Alright, but you're smashing your guy into it, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is not good. No, it's fine. He'll remove it with... I have no other plays, but that's not a good play. No, it's not the best one, but it's our play. Oh, we actually have 15 viewers right now. That's nice. Great. Yes. <sighs> Come on. Why can't your finger slip? <laughs> we got we got nothing. Uh Dark Scale Tap. Dark Scale Tap. That's pretty nice. Nice little taunt totem. Let me go like two, three with four fire elementals. No, don't put out a secret. Damn it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Just when I thought I was going to Dark Iron and get a good trade. Earthshock. So that would make it into a 3-2. Um. Well, I mean, 
What, what secret is it? Is the shatter sun my best bet for getting out a secret? I think it is. Yeah. Or would it be a flame tongue, and then you could? Flame tongue just gonna die. Oh, I guess I could pull it back. Yeah. Yeah, fine. That's maybe the best. Duplicate? It's not a duplicate. Okay, so it was something that I need to attack his face to trigger. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, I yeah. tab. Cause you tab. I'm not doing anything else. I think the last play I should have Wind Fury to remove this instead of using the Earthshock. Yeah. I don't think it was that big of a deal, but I think it was definitely on this play as well. Let's get the Dark Iron out, and then... I mean, I need to get the Dark Iron out, and then I'll show yeah. the Sun in as well for the hell of it. Yeah. Overextend. <sighs> Double flame strike. Not loss. much you can do about two flame strikes in a row. It is a body. So it turns into lightning storm. <laughs> End the turn. So it turns into lightning storm. Have we cast a spell yet? Could yes, it be counter yes. spell? No, we cast Earthshock. Oh, right, Earthshock. No, I think we should have Lightning Storm. Like, look at this. We're not recovering this board. I mean, I guess it's not Vaporize. Like, we're not going to recover this board ever. We've, like, lost the game already. Flame, oh, okay, so we could. Like, we, we've already lost this game. This is like a pointless game to continue playing. Yeah, we are not in good shape at no, all. No, but it, um, on the other hand, if we Lightning Storm, he would not have that. And we would basically force him to like have like a, a Fireball or a, or a Polymorph. Let's see, what can Flame Tongue do here? Um... I think that was definitely no. I think we just misplayed like twice in a row, within like three turns. Lightning storming the three two. Yeah. Because we need to remove it. He was protecting the three two. Uh, we can ignore the vaporize. Uh, Flame tongue doesn't do anything unless we get lucky with a lightning storm. And I'd rather not depend on that. Yeah. Fairy Dragon, we also get that. We we need to get that out. Nothing does anything. 
Get rid of the shield. Yep, I'm gonna get rid of the shield, but nothing. Get rid of the shield. Nope. Nothing does anything. I don't know why we're saving this lightning storm. Oh, come on. He knows he can't do that. Yeah. Okay, pray for the best. Well, hold on. Uh, do I lightning storm? I think I have to lightning storm and fire elemental instead of testing the, the totem. Yeah. Or, but if I test the totem, I, so I can also flame tongue. You, you still have flame tongue. And then you can save your fire elemental for next turn. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but then I don't have fire elemental out. Yeah, you don't have it out there. Risky to just, it's too risky to just lightning storm. Yeah, you're hoping for that 25% chance. Yeah. Well, no. It's 50%. Oh, you mean for both? For both, yeah. Well, well committed. 25% chance. Yay! Wow. Cool. Well, I'm trading that one. Yeah. He could have double fireballs in his hand. No. I know he doesn't have double fireballs. He would have played very differently if he did. He may have one fireball. Maybe. I do wonder what that secret is. It's just been like hanging out there. I've targeted something, so it's not a spellbender. Oh god, he has a pyroblast. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ah, uh, that's it. One, two! This is how bad Shaman is, I'm telling you. <laughs> I th although we did misplay. Uh, I think we would have had this game if we played well. I think we would have won the last two games if we played well. What was our misplay the... Uh... Game before that? The game before that? When you told me to attack to the face instead of trading his giant? When we had a much, oh, well, we had a very good like late game ish deck. I think we had a good chance of winning because we had one more card that he did if we did that. That's true. No, that that was um, that was definitely a misplay. I agree with that. And you were pushing me for it too. I kept trying to do it. You were like so so sure about it. You were like, "Come on, no, of course you attack to the face. Why would you trade that?" Yeah, I was hoping for the uh, yeah, sexy but, fire uh, elemental, that's, that's, but it didn't make sense. That's like 10% chance we're going to draw it. I was just like, that was a pure misplay. Because he could have put down any creature, and we would have been screwed up. Well, hopefully these decks all suck now. Hopefully. And at the very least, this would be better than your 03 Pally. I followed that up with an 11 2 Pally, and then I followed that up with a 12 1 Warlock. And now it's time to follow it up with a 1 3 Shaman. <sighs> oh, we're off to a good start. We're in the 1 2 bracket. It's almost impossible to lose this game. 
If I go 1-3, that would be, I think, my second 1-3 game. Yeah, I think that would be my second 1-3 game ever. I guess, uh, since release. Or rather, since I started tracking in, uh, at the end of May. Yeah. Uh, Harvest Golem, Lightning Bolted. Yep. Next turn we have that sexy mage play. Hmm. Look at that. Nothing like getting a 1-4 out. Oh, where's that earth shock? Let's summon that totem. Yeah, we're gonna have to remove it. Yeah. Well, do we have to remove it? We kind of have to. It's yeah. This turn four. Yeah. Well, let's see what totem it is. Hopefully, it's a spell one. Haha! -ha, it is a spell one. Nice. I wonder what we're going to be doing starting on turn 6. Pointlessly fire elemental everything. Basically. That's a mirror entity. I actually don't want him to have a Dalaran Mage. Well, yeah. We attack to the face first, right? I mean, it's pointless to keep the Mage out there. It's just a combo card. It'll deal one damage per turn to him. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so we should assume it's a mirror entity right now. Yeah. This does make it hard for us to fire on the elemental next turn, though. We will draw something that's not a fire elemental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're fire elemental. Are we? We could also mage and. What are hmm. you talking about? No, we can't do anything. If we mage, after we mage, then we just tap. No, we would mage yeah. a lightning storm, which would kill the mage and this, and then I would trade that in for it. Maybe. Right. Oh, wait, you have the Wrath of Air Totem, right? Yeah. But that's kind of weak. Kind of weak, yeah. I have a lot of fire elementals. I don't think I care that much. Fine by me. All right. So put the same card out. Or not. Ah. That is pretty annoying. Wow. Drop a lot of small things. No. <laughs> well, that was sad. It's not a very efficient use of that, but that was still sad.
So I do not. Tr oh no, he's frozen. He's he's frozen, right? Um, there's no point in getting fire elemental out right now. There's no point in doing anything else either. It forces him to do something. I have too many fire elementals. It's better than well, just um, the answer. The other way, the, the, our only other alternative is to tap. Tap and then loot hoarder. Yes, um, but this plays awful. into the this loot plays hoarder into gets removed by everything. Right. Well, this gets removed by flame strike. Yes, where he removes two cards. Well, one and a half card for the price of one card. I'm fine with that. All right. It's not like he has any other board that's actually dealing damage to me. Like, if a flame strike gets two for one and takes his entire turn, like, fine. You know, that just becomes a, a really inefficient version to, uh, to do a uh, arcane intellect. So, Dollar Mage, Wall Pyro, Lightning Storm. Yeah. God, this is setting up for a huge flame strike. I know. Um, There's nothing else I can do. Yeah, that's basically it. We gotta extend. Oh, come on. Oh, good. That's right. Yeah. Flame strike. So the only reason why I did that was because I don't think of the Dollar and Mage as a card. It's like a one drop. Like it's technically <laughs> it's basically, a card, but eh. it's like a Kabold. We're treating it like a Kabold. Yeah. Except unlike a Kabold, you can't drop it on turn two. Wind Fury can help us here. It doesn't really help us. Doesn't really help. Nope. Nothing really helps us. Wow, he actually did something like that was very good for him. <laughs> he actually did. Sludge Belcher is pretty annoying. Um. All right. I guess we'll trade the tiger in. Use the fire elemental on that. Use the mage to break the the thing and attack with the fire elemental. The other way keeps this alive, but it'll just get pinged. It'll just get pinged. It'll just get pinged anyway, actually. Yeah. Why not keep more things alive? <laughs> he didn't have a mass removal last turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's operation keep things alive. Yay! That was helpful. Nothing gets pinged. I can't believe we're having so much trouble. Oh, 
Okay. Something that deals damage. Thank you. Game over. There we go. Two, two. So good. Amazing start. Uh, maybe it would be better to just like do this when we're actually like recording, so we would only show the good runs. <laughs> but I don't yeah. have enough time to like actually like talk through everything for every single you know run that I play. Oh, we got a uh, thank you in the chat by Jessica Land. Uh, says, hey guys, just wanted to say that you are awesome. I learned so much more from watching your stream where every decision is carefully analyzed and explained than most of the more popular streams. Keep doing your thing. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the title is wrong again. Yeah, it's still showing Hunter. Wait, Hunter? It's showing Shaman for me. No. Nope. It, it's definitely it, showing Shaman for me. Uh, well, I'm, I'm I not... I already changed it to Warlock. And then uh, back. I don't know how to change it anymore. Well, it's just showing for you, I guess. Okay. Um, I still want to get rid of Lightning Bolt. You say keep I, it. I, I say keep the Lightning Bolt. Fine. But once again, you are the guy with the mouse. Fine. Today you've been off. When I've been listening to you, we've been making misplays. <laughs> it's true. And this deck will get mana screwed a couple games too, so this run is definitely not going to go far. Alright, fine. Ugh. This is pretty bad. I loot hoarder because I need cards. You go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I need cards. Hoarder. It doesn't really matter what things are. Give him his one ones. Well, that wasn't actually helpful. Get me an actual three drop. Actual three drop. Nope. And the lightning bolt would have been useless anyway. So we don't Wolf Rider because it would just die. It's coming now. Coin. Cult Master. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can't actually kill these guys. You can't actually kill them off. Okay, now you can tap again. I'm fine if you tap again now. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So you know how established we could have been on the board now? Oh man, do I let any bulbs to the face? <laughs> or you could just wind fury this guy. <laughs> I think that's what I do. I think that's what you do. I'm serious. I think the lightning bolt has more utility. Yeah, but like I mean, I plus, could just ancient brewmaster too. But I think I clear his board. I think you clear his board. Plus, this allows you to play dark scale healer or something else next turn. You know? Oh, that's true. The light, dark scale healer. The, All right. The lightning bolt overload. We're doing here. it. We're doing it. <sighs> so card inefficient. Yep. Oh, really? Oh my god. Fine. Oh, that makes me very sad. <laughs> Whatever. We like it. Well, I guess we don't have to. It's not going to do anything. We don't have to. Yeah. Let's get the smith out there. We don't have a fire elemental. Nah. I guess it sets up the dark skill healer the next turn. It does. It does. <sighs> Man, that iron forge. Killing off two of our cards. Okay. Fine. Fine. Wow. He really wants to protect that 2-2. Two -two. Alright. It's 
Put the card on me. Ah, there we go. One of our four fire elementals in this 2 2 deck. Yep. Right on time. Shamans. There we go. He gets deadly shotted. This is all okay. Tap because you have no small things. And now we can actually play Ancient Brewmaster and Wolfrider. Or Ascension and Wolfrider. Ascension's pretty I good. I prefer Ascension. I prefer Ascension too. So you can Brewmaster something back. I think it's worth playing for a longer game now. Like, Hunch was trying to be aggro, but he's failing. Yeah. All right, let's get out in our first damage. So I hate facing Hunters as Shaman because you really can't tap. Like, they're not even, like, Paladin things, where it'll at least kill the dog. That's bad for him. Questionable. Okay. Oh. Uh, Okay, better. Still not that great. Like, if that's how you're going to use your Unleash the Hounds, go for it. Yeah. Maybe he has another one. Who knows? Maybe he has, like, three more. <laughs> Maybe I Lightning Storm this. Actually, I think I do Lightning Storm this. Uh, no, I don't need to. No, you don't need to don't at all. Need to. All right. I'll do the Dark Scale thing. But I'm going to to Totem first. Yeah, Totem, Smash Your Guy, Dark Scale... <sighs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. I hate yep. keeping a beast on the board. That was also good placement for um, explosive shot. Yeah, but I hate keeping a beast on the board. I know. Huh. Okay, he just has a lot of Unleash the Hounds with no combos. That also works. No, that works very well. Well, I can guess what's getting played next turn. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm killing this guy, then brewmastering him back. Uh, do I care enough to lightning storm this? I think we do care. Yeah, um, he can, you know, he has damage. We have a lot of he has cards. damage. Why not? We have a lot of cards. Um, we should, well, we, we should totem. We should totem. Because we can then do this and Manatai totem. Exactly. Yeah. Ha ha ha. So good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right there. We have two things that do stuff from our hand. He's he's not really going to be able to hunt us down. Whoa. What just happened? Um, mind control tag? I don't really care. Do you not? I don't care. I'm going to put out a tiger and tap. Yeah, I don't care. Like, his chances of getting something actually useful is so low. Go ahead, mind control tag, draw a lot of cards, do whatever. Huh? Okay, well... What could that even be? Freezing uh, trap, I guess? Freezing trap, misdirection. Well, if it's freezing, then... Snipe. All right. Six plus five, eleven. Eleven plus two. Yeah, I don't quite have enough. You don't have enough. I think I would have if I wasn't afraid of the freezing trap. Well, let's get another tiger out there then. 
Yeah, Tiger's always good. You can't actually remove it. Yep. Every time things like this happen, I think I'm getting death wing. <laughs> it's like, you, you wouldn't play like that unless you had a death wing. You never really prepare for the death wing. I guess he's just desperately searching for another unleash combo. After his what three? Yeah. Two? I don't know how many he has. Um, okay, that's it. Oh, I should have put out the dollar and mage. There was just so many ways to BM. He couldn't pick one. All right, we're trying to get this deck to five wins after an awful start where we... One was definitely a misplay where I think we would have won. The other one were two misplays that I think we would have, but it's harder to tell because those had smaller that, effects. That one was hard to tell, yeah. Yeah, but it was earlier in the game, so... These snowball things happen. Uh, that's why, though. Like, so... My record is generally a, a little lower when playing uh, with with Murps than I am playing solo. Even though you know you would think having another voice would, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, even though you would think that having another voice could only be a good thing to do things like noticing lethal or to correct your mistakes before you're about to do it, but that is not the case. We've noticed this too, and uh, it goes the opposite way as well. Um, I. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's even worse when I'm uh, when you're playing and I'm <laughs> I'm talking to you. It's really bad. Um, Let's go Raider. Uh, that does prevent the axe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's he gonna put that a Blood Sail Raider can't handle? Nothing. Oh, another two three, but. Which is a little bit annoying for you. No, I don't really care. He's a shaman too. Yeah. Like if you could ping, I would put out the three two. Yeah. But he can't ping. He's just a shaman. He's just a, a stupid lowly shaman like us. You can see how highly he thinks of this class. <sighs> Too bad arena class. And the thing is, people think it's a good arena class, but you go by these stats, and there are stats of like decently good people, right? Like people who are hovering around five wins. And that's not quite the same as if you average seven wins or if you average three wins. So I think, like, if you average three wins, for example, Rogue is probably, like, a really bad class for you because you wouldn't use it well. I, I would think, at least. Mm. Uh, I'm going to put out the Loot Hoarder because I have a Wolf Rider the next turn that I can remove anything threatening he puts out. Yeah, I'm fine with putting out the uh, Loot Hoarder. And then... Um, uh, but you... if I do that, I have to trade. Otherwise, I don't have you to have trade. to trade. I just put out a wild pyro and not trade. Oh no, but then he could fork lightning. Yeah, I'll trade. Yes. You should trade. I'll trade. I have more fire elementals than he does. You never know that. Put out a mana type. No. Damn it. Oh. Um, but yeah, so, like, if you're uh, just a beginner player, Rogue is actually, like, really dangerous to use, because you have so many decisions, and you can make the wrong one. Uh, whereas a, a class like Paladin would be a much more consistent. Uh, and on the other hand, I think if you get to, like, a certain level, something like, ah, uh, Wild Pyro. I, uh, I think you I Wild Pyro, pyro and, tap. and tap, and then get rid of the totem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm setting up for a, 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 the fork landing, no matter what I do. Yeah, but w with the totem there, you... Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I think, like, if you're at the level of, like, Trump or whatever, like, Priest is actually just a really good class to begin with. Fork lightning! Call it. Yeah. Uh, of Ooh. course. Of course.
Why would it go any other way? Um. <laughs> do I do I pretend he doesn't have another overload card? Let's uh, not. Let's not do no, that. No. Let's let's tiger. Let's tiger. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, I think shaman is one of those classes with like a really high floor. But then the ceiling's also very low. So I just I can't get any traction out of this class to like get above like, you know, six point five wins maybe. Yeah. Don't do anything. Pass your turn. Hit heal. Hit Be heal. Happy. Come on, give me something good to win, Fury. Or just something juicy to fire elemental. Wow. I'll just trade that. I guess I don't need to... Uh, I'll do this to give that to trade, tap, and then win Fury this guy. Uh, explain your move again. Shattered Sun this, kill that, use this to remove both his totems with the Wind Fury. I'm thinking about whether you need to Wind Fury right now, yeah, or... Because I mean, or I could Lightning Storm and Shattered Sun and trade my Dark Scale in. Or not trade my Dark Scale in. I feel so bad using a lightning storm. I know. Although I can still fire elemental the next turn. You could fire elemental the next turn. That's true. I'm going to win very. Okay. Board set up, you can fire elemental, that's fine. You could hex, but you can't do both. Can't do both. Or you can do that. Hmm. Huh? What? That doesn't make any sense. One second. What did you just do? One second. Okay. I don't know what just happened. But I also don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I think I have Booty Band, I tap. No, I might need to go the next turn. I think he's too used to playing Constructed, <laughs> where you... <laughs> <laughs> where what? You, you do that to an Earth Elemental? Well, you buff it with... Um, uh, yeah, he just thought yeah. it was the wrong card. I'm yeah. gonna booty band tap. Because the fire yeah, elemental would make idea. me sacrifice too much. Yeah, exactly. I think taunting is a good idea. And even if he hexes, it's a it's a taunt, so. Setting up for this lightning storm. Fine. I'm ambivalent. Wait, what? Wow. Maybe he's on tilt. He did just waste a card. He did just waste an entire card, yeah. Well, he's committed to it.
this gives me the ability to use the fire elemental. Yeah, it does. Even though I have nothing to fire elemental. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Whatever. let's do it. Well, Again, you keep your. I have nothing to fire elemental. I'm gonna trade the booty bay in. I guess I fire elemental not his face. Just fire elemental his I face. Want the, I want out the out card there. out there. Yeah, you want the card out there. He doesn't seem to have a way to remove this dark skill. And he doesn't seem to care. That would be the first thing I removed if I had a 7-8 out there. Alright. Uh, that's fine. Yep. Nine plus four, thirteen. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> you know, I want to land you bullet earth shock that thing. We could lightning storm and earth shock it. <laughs> because lightning bolt can yeah, actually go to his yeah. face. I think, that, I think yeah. that's actually what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Right? Because lightning bolt can go to his face, which is important now. Which means he can kill off the fire elemental. Yeah, and still be fine. But we would still like, win the with the yes. He doesn't seem to have stuff. Mm. Aww, this would have been good to lightning storm. Would have been good. To uh, I mean, we're one damage off. We are one damage off. Um. You just play it. I guess we just play it. Yeah. I'm gonna get him down to one health. Yeah, let's get him down to one health. I'm fine with trading the Shattered Sun. Because he's going to have to do something to make sure that Golem doesn't get there. Uh, we have a question from the chat. Um, Jessica Lynn asks, why did, we tr uh, why did we use the Fire Elemental to uh, the 3 damage to hit to the face and trade the 5-4 instead of fi Fire elemental the Taunt and trading the 3-2 into it? Um, good point. I, I don't remember that play. But yeah, I don't remember that play. That makes sense. That sounds like it makes sense. It sounds like it makes sense. Um, yeah, I just don't remember the play right now. I mean, you, you could be absolutely correct. We are not the... <laughs> uh, well, we especially are not today. I feel like sense. we're making misplays left and right today. Today's not a great day for us. Um, no, I, I, I... No, correction, it was a great day until the stream started. <laughs> Until the stream started, yeah, um, I had a twelve. Uh, I had a twelve one warlock. That does not happen every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But so yeah, just no. If uh, if there was a if there was a five two, I think, and a three two, and we had a fire elemental, and we needed to remove something with like four health, I think was what it was. Yeah, you're right. That is what we should have done. No, that's true. Um, I I don't remember the play. Uh, yeah, but it. it from what you're saying, it, is, it seems like we misplayed there, which yeah. happens. <laughs> but uh, no, it was it, it was good. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm gonna save a lightning bolt because uh, mages get really aggro sometimes. 
Yeah, no, I think keeping one lightning bolt is good, and then hopefully we can yeah. get our fairy dragons and our five. Oh, dear God. I'm always comfortable keeping a lightning bolt when we have a coin, because it really smooths out the whole curve. It's when you don't have a coin that you're like, eh. Coin out the uh, tap. <laughs> uh... Yay. Oh, wow, we actually have 20 viewers right now. It's a little nice. bit surprising. Well, because there's a there's an actual legit pro tournament going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, to those of you in the chat, um, is the tournament still going on? Last time I checked, it was the uh, Reels versus Amaz, and Amaz um, took one game to call back to one two. Um, I don't know if you guys were watching that before. Obviously, I'm not watching it right now. Um, just wondering if you guys had any updates on that big tournament that was going on. Yes, let's send our viewers away. That is, that is what we should do. Uh, <laughs> ah, fighter. Uh, there is no good way to. Nope, nope. That's actually a, a very good thing for him to do. For him. It's a really good play. Um, I have three lightning bolts. They're useless. Yeah. Wolf Rider. Give him the card. Because otherwise, I just tap and do. You know, I tap and then I lose the next turn. Right. Well, maybe that's fine. Fine, let's play for the late game. I'm going to wait to use Wolf Rider as a removal. Yeah. No, I agree. Well, he could just uh, ping it. He could... Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to get... Despite all of this, this is 12 damage to the face, but that's only two fireballs, and it's all of my cards. Um, someone else is asking, do we stream often? I only really care about Arena, and not many people stream it. Um, it's true. We unfortunately don't stream very often. Uh, we do yeah. one stream a week is what we're trying to do. Um, I don't like any bolt that thing. I don't care about that thing. Oh, uh, you don't care about it. Not yet, anyways. Getting the Tiger out is good. Um, so we don't stream very often. We stream... Once a week, um, and it's mostly because both of us are busy, um, both yeah. have stuff to do. And I mean, we could, uh, the other thing I could do is just like stream whenever I'm playing, but that would be like very uh, haphazard like times. I don't have like, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to like keep a schedule, like say like, you know, seven o'clock or eight o'clock every Wednesday or something, anything like that. So I think this is going to be one of those pop up streams where you're really excited whenever we stream. <laughs> Um, now is when I use the Wolf Rider. Yeah, now is when you use the Wolf Rider. And I'll put a Blood Cell out too, because why not? Yeah, put the Blood Cell out. Uh, so yeah, so and there's also there was a question somewhere on Reddit about YouTube migration. I have no idea how that thing works right now. I will figure it out next weekend. I think they said we would have like we would have some time to make the migration. So at some point, all of these past broadcast videos for all the runs are going to be on YouTube. I think that's how things yeah. are going right now. Ooh, that is a really good target. Um, uh huh. Just... <sighs> All right, so let's see. It's pointless to remove it. Pointless to re well, yes. flame strike. Yeah, no, I, I'd be the same thing. It would be the same thing. Unfortunately, for he gets a pretty good flame strike, um, but it's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this because I will just do this again. That thing's getting panded back. Yep. And play the Manatide. 
Panda and Manatite? Manatite first. Secret. Because then I can Lightning Bolt him. Right, that's Before fair. he even draws a card. Right, right, right. And he has some percent chance of being able to kill the Manatite. Yeah, he does. All right. So we know it's not mere entity. Um, I'm cool with that if you trade in. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Nice. Good, good. No. No? That's fine. Trade it in. Huh? <laughs> okay, that would have been a, a very weird move if that actually happened. Would have been so very strange. Now we fire elemental, tap, and then lightning bolt. I think that's pretty obvious. Yes. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't tap yet because if it's a counter spell, we need to double lightning bolt. Oh, good call. Right. So don't tap yet. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Very good call. All right. See? He thinks you made a good play. It always sounds so dickish to say thank you. You know? Yep. Even though it shouldn't. I'm actually thanking him for saying well played. Now I win, Fury. Tiger, win, Fury, tap. <laughs> I mean, it's um, taunting a lot of damage, but... It is uh, taunting a lot of I damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. That's fair. He doesn't even see my two lightning storms and fire elemental in my hand. Uh, I'm going to go to a bathroom. I'll be right okay. back. You start the next game. Okay. So if you're just joining us, we are in the middle of a 4-2 shaman run. 5-2 shaman run. Where we started... Uh, one two, because of at least one definite misplay and possible other ones. So it's actually it's supposedly not a bad deck value wise. Um, ah, lightning bolt. I guess I keep a lightning bolt. I'm still against the mage. I always hate lightning bolts because they make you unable to play your like four or five drops depending on when you use it. But it does give some flexibility, and we don't have a lot of actual three drops. Um, yeah. So the start, I think, if you watch it back, you'll you'll see the misplays, um, especially the one. Uh, or we chose to go for the face instead of removing one of his creatures, I think was really bad. But hopefully it gets better from here. Uh, we've hit five wins, which is where I thought this deck would get minimally, and I think it could go up to seven. This is always the, always the question, do you play an empty mana tie totem? because you're guaranteed to get an extra card. 